In this video, we're going to learn how to print a string using recursion in C. So to test out our function, let's declare a car array called test string, and we'll store into this car array the string A, B, C, D. Now remember, the last character in the string is not really uppercase D. It's actually the special null terminator character that ends a string. So here, after uppercase D, we have the null terminator represented with backslash zero. We're going to use this property of strings that they end with a null terminator character to build our recursive function. So next, let's declare our recursive function. Up here we'll have void for the return type because the function is not going to return any value, it's just going to print out the string. We'll call the function itself print string, and the function is going to be passed the string as an argument, so we'll have the parameter car star string for that argument. Then we'll define the function. So we'll copy this and then paste it down here. Now this parameter here, car star string, is what's called a pointer variable. So pointer variables store memory addresses. This here, the star, makes it a pointer variable. And the car means this variable is going to store the memory address of a character. Now, when we call print string and pass a test string, what's really going to be passed is the memory address of this first character here, uppercase A. So the pointer variable here, string, is going to store the memory address of this first character here, uppercase A, in our test string. We would say that string points to that character. So we'll call print string and we'll pass it our test string. And when we do this, this pointer variable here, string, is going to point to this first character in the string, uppercase A. So here we'll have string, and we'll say that string points to that character there. Now, there's a couple operations we can use with pointers to help us out. One thing we can do with pointers is dereference them. So here, if I have star string, what this will do is dereference the pointer which means we'll be given access to whatever that pointer is pointing to. So right now, because string is pointing to uppercase A, star string is going to dereference the pointer and give us uppercase A. We can also use what's called pointer arithmetic to manipulate what the pointer is pointing to. In particular, if I have string plus plus, what this will do is increment the pointer. It will have the pointer point to the next character in the string. So right now, after using string plus plus, string would then point to the next character in the string, uppercase B. And if I use string plus plus again, then string would point to uppercase C. Now that we have these tools, let's solve the problem using recursion. So to solve a problem using recursion means to solve a problem by having a function which calls itself. And typically the function is going to call itself with a smaller version of the same problem to solve. What we'll do is have our function solve this problem one character at a time by printing out one character at a time in our string. So when the function is first called, string is going to point to the first character in the string. We'll have the function print out the character that string is currently pointing to, so in this case, uppercase A. Then we'll have the function call itself, but when it does, it's going to pass itself string after it's been incremented to point to the next character in the string. So the function will call itself, but this time with string pointing to the next character in the string, in this case, uppercase B. Then the function is going to print out that character. So we'll print out uppercase B. Then the function will call itself with the incremented string pointer, and the function will be called with string pointing to uppercase C. And this will continue. We'll output C and D in this way. Now like all strings, this string is going to be terminated with the null terminator character. So we'll have here, backslash zero, after that uppercase D character. Now as the function continually calls itself with the incremented string pointer, eventually that string pointer is going to point to the null terminator character that terminates the string. And that's when the function is going to stop. When recursion stops, we call that the base case, or the base step. When the function calls itself, we call that the recursive case, or the recursive step. So let's implement this logic now. Down here, We'll check to see if the pointer string is currently pointing to the null terminator. So if star string doesn't equal the null terminator character, that means our pointer has not yet reached the null terminator. So in that case, we're going to carry out the logic in this if statement here. 
And so we'll print out the character that string is currently pointing to. We'll have printf and then percent %c to output a character. And then we'll have star string to pass printf the character that string is currently pointing to. Then we'll increment the string pointer with string plus plus to have string point to the next character in the string. Then we'll call print string with this incremented string pointer. And so this here is going to work out exactly like we just talked about. Now, notably, the recursion is going to stop once string points to the null terminator, because in that case, this condition is going to be false and the function is no longer going to call itself. So let's try it out. Up here, we'll also output a new line character after outputting the string. So we'll have printf and then backslash n for new line. And we'll save compile and run the program. And we get here a, b, c, d, and our program is working. So this is how we can print a string using recursion in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.